Good afternoon, everybody. On Tuesday, the 26th of January, 2021, we got two of our main FANG components reporting earnings tomorrow, uh, Facebook and Apple. I'm not sure if they're going to overwhelm as expected or underwhelm, as the case may be. But let's see if we can figure out some potential price target parameters on both of these dogs. Yesterday's daily candy on Apple is really troubling. I mean, it's a high frequency, um, long legged candle with really no real body to speak of at all on Apple. When it hit the 153 area, the sellers came in and just smashed the bullwinkles with both fists all the way back down to this area that we're trading in again today on Apple. Money stream has been good for the past week to 10 days, but it's starting to flatten out yesterday and going into today. Volume right now, uh, halfway through the session, 55 million shares, not incredibly um, impressive just yet on Apple. Let's get a price octave going, and for that, let's take the September 21st low of 103.10 up to yesterday's high at 153.45. And we'll bring in our diatonic calculator on Apple here and go ahead and set up the price octave. 103.10 was the low of the octave, the root dough. Yesterday's high, 143.45. I'm sorry, 153.45. Get some Python going on here. We're currently trading at 142 on Apple. So we should hit first resistance on Apple from here at 147.15. That would bring us into the higher octave from yesterday, up above 153. If it cleared that, the first area it would gravitate towards is 159.69, which would be the shock point on Apple to launch prices, perhaps, I'm sorry, the 153.69 is not the shock point. 159.69 would be first resistance on Apple following yesterday's high. 165.98 would be the area would it would receive a positive shock, which could open up next resistance target on Apple at 170.16 on a post earnings swing trade. Should things go the other way and should they sell the news on Apple, I wouldn't count on any support below 142 to get to the 136.68 area, followed by 128.27 on Apple. And one final thought on Apple. You have the 50-day moving average support down around 126. And then you have this uptrend line from September 21st, and then a higher low at October 30th, which would put in additional support around the 117 area. Wrap. Which brings us over for Facebook also tomorrow on the earnings call. Um, Facebook is looking a lot better than Apple chart-wise um, for this Ministry of Truth, the self-appointed Ministry of Truth, along with uh, Jack Dorsey, the dickhead from Twitter. But this is a pretty decent daily candle on Facebook right here. Money stream is very healthy with a consistent angle of attack word upwards. To grab our price octave on Facebook, I'm going to go with the November 5th high of 297.38 down to the January 14th low of 244.61.
and let's fire up our diatonic calculator. So with our values entered into the flux capa capacitor, I'm sorry, 244.61 low, 297.38 high, gives us a price octave of $50 and roughly 35 cents. We are currently trading at 282.77 as I record this hideous screed. So Facebook is going to catch its first resistance from here going into earnings tomorrow at 290. 78 at which point it would move back into the higher octave and on a good report and god willing and the creek don't rise 303.92 would be your first resistance on facebook followed by 314.89 if it's a very good report if the report is less than spectacular for Facebook, I would put first support down at 279.80, which is very close to where we are right now. More likely, I think you're looking at 262.23 support on Facebook, ultimately 251.20 for the Zuckerberg. One final idea on support for Facebook you've got the 50 day moving average down there at 272 and again if things are less than pleasant on the on the conference call you got this gap to fill down here around 261 262 from back in mid-january all right guys time to buckle up and strap it on for fang earnings apple and facebook i am king cambo smoke me if you got them and that's how i go on Apple and Facebook.